Alright, so I'm literally in the bed. Getting ready to go to sleep. Everything's ready to go for me to take night night. Roll over, look on my phone. So as you guys can see on the screen, it is currently 11.54 p.m. My time, right? So unlock my iPhone and I go to my sneakers app. And I'm just going through this with you guys. As, it, as it's opening up, I'm thinking like, you know, I'm just going to go like some stuff. And then I see right there from the sneaker reserve this morning that I missed out on. I didn't even go back and check to see was there anything available. The University Gold Light Bordos are still there. You can still click on this shoe and purchase this sneaker. Um, I'm not going to click on it because it's going to show my credit card information all that stuff. But my size and pretty much a full size run is still available. How is this sneaker sitting? Have you not seen the quality of this sneaker? This sneaker is dope. Let's talk about it. All right, so what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Kicknology. I appreciate you guys tuning in today. It's going to be a little bit of a talking session on how is this sneaker sitting on the sneakers app man it is still there for you guys to go and cop and in my opinion i'm gonna tell you guys cop the sneaker man it's a lot of jordan ones out there and it's a lot of shoes that you can buy and i'm just trying to get a grip of an understanding of why this sneaker is sitting this sneaker is absolutely stunning didn't get many views when I did the review on it. I'm going to let the, the lighting die down on it. But I'm telling you guys, when you get the shoe in hand, the leather quality on this shoe is absolutely amazing. Just take a look at this sneaker. So if you, if you are on the app and you are thinking about copping this shoe, I'm not trying to persuade you guys. But I'm saying if you can get it for retail, don't worry about the resale purposes of, of it. You know what I'm saying? I feel, like that, I feel like too many times we worry about resale. Resale, resale, resale. If you like this, if you like Jordan 1s, and you like quality of Jordan 1s, and that's the reason why you like it, this colorway is not that bad. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're a Lakers fan, or if you're in fraternity, you know, Q-Dog, this sneaker is dope. So, man, I... I just for 170 go ahead man pull the trigger if it's still sitting there on the app and you're watching this video and you're going to the sneakers app and you are kind of debating I'm hoping that you guys seeing this shoe actually the the realness the 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 quality of this sneaker that you guys actually think about pulling the trigger on this sneaker now it does come with a couple of pair of laces also um I did get mine for retail I actually had two pair ended up selling the other one um but you do have, we have three laces, feel what I'm saying? You have the purple one that's in there, you have your white, and then you do have your gold laces as well. So man, like I said, very dope shoe. Um, I'm glad to have it in my collection. Quality is amazing. Um, can wear it with my, my Lakers jersey. So if you are a Lakers fan in general, man, go ahead, pull the trigger, grab it. Um, a lot of people are saying this shows that the Jordan 1 hype is dead. In my opinion, it don't. Um, and for me, I feel like it just shows that um, resellers are kind of like falling off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So um, shoes that don't have a great resale value on them, people are being more selective on what they buy, which I appreciate that because um, if this shoe had hype around it, people would be all over it. But the fact that it's no hype around it, only the people that really want the sneaker are buying it. And it's obvious that a lot of people are not buying it because it's sitting at the reserve in the restock and it's still sitting on the app hours later. But um, I don't think Jordan 1 hype is dead. I just think, like I said, people and resellers, the price of sneakers is going up, gas prices and stuff like that. If they can't make at least 50 bucks off of it, it's pointless of buying a sneaker waiting for it to get shipped to you only to make 25 30 bucks for some people that ain't even lunch money you feel what i'm saying so that's just my opinion but y'all let me know down below in the comment section did you end up copping these on today's drawing reserve what did you end up copping i know the dark marina blues is on there as well but in my opinion as this focuses on the shoe this shoe is really really dope in my opinion glad I'm, i was able to add it to collection i will be putting it on feet 
as soon as my Lakers get better. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I don't even want to wear a Lakers colorway of nothing because we just trash, man. But that's a whole nother story. But, hey, I appreciate you guys tuning in as always. Y'all let me know what you were able to cop on the Jordan Reserve. Let me know when the last time you seen a sneaker actually sit on the Reserve, especially a Jordan 1. I appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Rock what you like. And I was hype. Wash them hands, man. And remember, this shoe right here, all the shoes you talk about on this channel, they just bait. Wait for me to share my faith. You guys be blessed. I'm gonna catch y'all next video. Peace. I'm off the beat, but right now I'm on the beat, known to be brother more, spitting for the king. You can kick it with